Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. The next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Okay? So, before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. What are we going to name it, y'all? Orion Williams says Twitchco. Not a bad name. Not a bad name. I'll be Prootsy. I want y'all to give a couple of uh, suggestions in there. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen, Joe Money. Uh, Sumped Industries, not bad. Um, do, 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 do. There's like a little brown hair, dude. I guess that'll do. Green shirt? Green shirt, cool. Uh, something cool. Do, do, do. Car company Atari making a game called E.T. It'll make all the sales. Good call, Strawberry Pelican. I think you're onto something. Uh, hey! J Jazz is your 250... Rip 250 zombie bits? Don't mind if I do? What do, What is that? Zombie bits? I didn't see them. Were they zombies? Crazy. Crazy. All right, we're going to do... Uh, I liked uh, Ninten Don't. I think that's a good name. It's a good name. Uh, thank you, Rick. That's a good one. Um... Let's see. Since you played the game before, you can choose to use all previous game hints in this game. Uh, no, we're just going to play new. Choose a save slot. Oh, I have to pick a new one? I guess I've used up all the spots. Just cover that first one. Okay. I apparently saved multiple times. Okay, hold on. All right, time is moving. Let's develop a new game. All right, y'all. Got to come up with our very first game. Okay. Pick a topic. Military, werewolf, space, or dance. You know what? Hey, the Brian J. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. TLC was a mixed bag. Finn v. AJ and the finale, the, uh, the the main event, were incredible. So it was fine. Um, there's a zombie hand coming up. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Uh, werewolf. Ooh, swearwolves. Space. What do people think? I'll give you a couple more seconds. Werewolf dance game. We can only do one, I think. Space Pig. Oh, okay. We got to do Space. Space Pig, of course. Pig Genre. Uh, it's going to be a space action game on the PC. And we're going to call it Space Pig. Of course. Of course our first game would be Space Pig. Next. Okay. Uh, 2D graphics. Absolutely. I mean, come on. We're going for the highest level of quality here. Okay. All right. Starting it up. Okay. Okay. We've added a couple of bugs. That's about it. Okay, so I want to focus on engine, gameplay, or stories and quests. I think with an action game, uh, it's a lot of gameplay, a lot of engine. Story and quests are important, but mostly gameplay and engine, right? It needs to be a high-quality game, right? Got to have all that piggy action going on. You know what I'm saying? Yee, space pig! Heck yeah. Okay, now what? Uh, time allocation. Dialogues, level design, or artificial intelligence. Level design's important. AI's important. Dialogues are less important. Let's do that. I think. We're gonna need a dragon hibernation simulator soon. Oh, yeah, we could do that. All right, select features, 2D graphics, basic sounds. Um, world design, graphics, sounds. World design is important, but I think graphics. Okay, let's see how well this does. Okay, now we got some bugs. And so with bugs, I think what you do, so we, yeah, so we wait, and our guy's now working down bugs. Every now and then they'll add another little point or something like that, but you're wasting more time, right? So we just finished it. It's the first game, 11 and 11. Did a new topic, new combo. Okay, we're gaining experience. So you gain points and experience and everything like that, so you get better at accomplishing all these things. Um, and you learn things about the different combinations. So like for certain types of games, focusing on different aspects is better or worse. Um, so you want to like pay attention. All right, let's release the game. What do people think about it? And while we wait, let's develop a new game. Um, so we just did a space game. We don't want to release the same types of game over and over and over again, right? So what other kind of game we want to do? A lot of people want a werewolf. A lot of people want to dance. So let's do a werewolf game to start with. We're going to make this one an adventure werewolf game. Uh... And so that's more like a, a Monkey's Island type game. So like you're exploring kind of, it's like a spooky one. Where pigs. Um, so this one, let's see. Oh, 
something about the big bad wolf. Something about the three little pigs. You know? Because it's about a werewolf, right? The pig among us. <laughs> but it's about the three little pigs. Okay? Climbing with Ash. We could do a game called Climbing with Ash at some point. Uh, Dirty Harry. <laughs> the pigs that wow wolves. Werewolf simulator. Dance your way through space. Called Why Wolf. Oh, Brian J. That's so good. Why Wolf. Not werewolf, but why wolf. Okay, there we go. Nice. Nice. I like that. Okay. Uh, 2D graphics. Let's do it. So this is going to be different. We're going to want to focus on completely different things. This is an adventure game. Story and quests are everything, right? Gameplay a little bit. Story and quests, that's the main thing. Okay. First reviews of our newly released game, Space Pig, came in. What do they think about Space Pig? Seven. Good game from Star Games. I'll take it, Star Games. Enjoyable. Nice. Space and action is a great combination. You didn't mention the pigs, though. Their focus on level design served this game very well. All right. Not bad scores for our very first game, I would say. Let's make some, make some sales. Nintendo don't. A newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game. Surprise bag. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start. Nintendo don't are sure to gain fans quickly. Okay. Yeah, who needs an engine? Who needs an engine when you're making an adventure game? You know what I'm saying? We saw, we're selling like 3,000 copies, y'all. That's great. Okay. Uh, dialogue, so important. Level design, somewhat important. Artificial intelligence, not that important in an adventure game. It's like, it's all about the dialogues. You know? All right, Space Big sold 29, or 2,904 units in its first week. Made it to the charts at number 65. Not bad. Space Big was so successful that we now have fans. 14 of them. Y'all. Y'all. Which 14 of you out there are fans of Nintendo's Space Pigs? Do we get a sequel or DLCs for Space Pigs? Oh, we're, we're definitely going to be churning out so... I mean, it's our first successful property. It's going to be our flagship property, Space Pigs. Okay? All right, here we go. We sold even more copies the next week, y'all. Look at that. Okay. Why Wolf? Uh, world design, graphics, and sound. Uh, all of these are important. World design, I think, is very important. These will do, like, middle of the road. But I think, like, mostly world design because it's all about building that concept. Gibson, you are a fan? Good to know. Good to know. All right. All right. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> Why Wolf? That's <laughs> such a good name. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Brian J. You always got the good stuff. Okay. Space Pig has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 years old. Hey, next time you just shoot 100. Oh, yeah, zombie bits. Space Pigs for the win. All right, I got to watch this zombie bits thing. Oh, yeah, that's different, huh? Ugh. Okay. Um, so, uh, we got a milestone. 10,000 sold. Our very first game. No pressure. All right. No bugs. I always want to wait until we'd have no bugs left, you know? All right. Our, our numbers on this game did not get as high. 11 and 8. All right. Last time wasn't it 11 11? How's that in your record? I thought it was 11 11. Uh, the Windy Wolves Space Gang. Ah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Why did you do it, Wolf? <laughs> my mom bought 10,000 copies. You're right, Rick. That's what happened. Uh, she's my biggest fan. All right. While we're waiting, let's do some research. Let's research a new topic. Superheroes, history, vampire, or horror. Well, we did werewolves. We could do vampire. We could be a horror-focused thing. Or we can get superheroes. Let's get superheroes for now. Okay. Hey! A little bit Debbie just cheered 100. Uh, I'm your number one fan. Aw, oh, thanks, Debbie. All right, let's start that research. While we wait, we'll see how well our new game does. Our newly released game, Why Wolf, has come in on the reviews. Uh-oh, those scores do not look as good. Yikes. Not bad, not good. Oh, Why Wolf is not... Oh. It's not going to be as stellar of an example of a game as... Yikes. Ugh, falls a bit short. We will not be making a sequel to, we to Why Wolf. Um, that's fine. We're researching right now. We're going to get a new topic. Superheroes. It's all good. But Why Wolf? You're tearing me apart, Why Wolf. Hey, Stumpkrick says, I'm your number 12 fan. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Number 12. Right behind my mom 11 times. Uh, and Demi at number one. Um, you successfully researched your topic, superheroes. Okay. Space Pig is now off the market. 12,000 units sold, generating a whole bunch of sales. Hey, Mexican 760 just cheered. Okay, heading out. Catch you tomorrow. Bye. Later, Mexican. See you tomorrow. Uh, I think it'll be me in the morning as usual. Probably do some ARC. And then Rick, 
uh, and I will be finishing up our game of Civ. It'll be good. Um, all right. So, let's develop a new game. Pick topic. Let's do superheroes. Let's do... I'm going to do a superhero RPG. Hey, Rage82 just cheered 1,000 bits. Thank you so much, Rage82. Drop them shorts, everybody. A superhero adventure game. We just did an adventure game, and you don't want to do the same genre or the same topic in a row. Like, uh, your fans start to get tired of those things. Uh, superhero sim. We can do a superhero sim. Pick a platform. Back on the PC. All right, so what do we want to call our superhero simulator? The Big Avengers? Uh, let's see. Uh... I think I think I like the idea of naming it pig something. Everything's gonna be pig named, huh? Um, we have multiple people saying pig vengers. Um, Stump League, Gordon the Great, Spider Pig, the Piglet League, Porky's Revengeance. <laughs> oh man, um, Spider Ham. Stump Heroes, Oink Man, Bear Man. All right, we're getting a lot of, of those types of things. All right, so how... Yeah, Super Pigs. Actually, honestly, that's such an easy... That's such a simple one, but Super Pigs. I think that works. Because here's my idea here for the space sim, right? Here's how... Or the superhero sim. Obviously, they're all pigs. But, like, you're... you're it's a simulator, right? It's So you have all different types. So it's not just one. It's not just Gordon, right? It would be, like, Gordon and Friends, right? Or... Um, oh, he... Okay. Taking a whole bunch of y'alls together. The Hamvengers. Huh? Huh? Let's do it. Hamvengers. Pork Squad, six flavors of bacon. I like that. All right. 2D graphics again. We always go for the highest quality graphics. Let's do this. All right. So, in a simulation game, the most important stuff is the engine. Okay? And the gameplay. Actually, it's both. It's, yeah, it's, we're going to do high engine, high gameplay. Low stories and quests. Stories and quests, not that important in a simulator game, right? It's got to run well. That's the most important thing on a simulator. Okay. White Wolf got a little spike in sales there. Apparently, like, werewolves were, like, the thing for a little bit. All right. Less on dialogues. Way up on artificial intelligence. A little bit on level design. Can you set gameplay to zero and just make movies? Pro basically. <laughs> Recent market studies suggest that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability. Yeah, so here's the thing uh, about this, because you see I keep picking PC, right? Um, the PC will always be available. It's the lowest impact, it's the cheapest to work on, but it'll always be available. The um, Anything else, all the consoles and other home PCs and all that stuff, they always... Um, they come and go, like right? So they go through like ebbs and flows. So it's like you always want to like be careful which ones you pick. Once a handheld comes on the market, like the Game Boy or something like that, uh, that's what we're going to go for. We're definitely going to go for that. Those work really well. Experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Yes, indeed. Okay, so uh, world design, graphics, sound. Graphics are important. Uh, world design is less important. Sound's also important. So both of these are very important, I think. Graphics and sound for a simulator, right? Again, world design less important. Console generations really hurt future sales of older games. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to wait because is, these are bad scores here. My goodness. Yikes. That's not great. Why Wolf is now off the market. It sold 8,000. Not bad. Not quite as good as our other one. This one did not reach the heights that I had hoped for design and tech, so that's not great. But we might level up soon. Hopefully. And that'll help us to get higher scores. Yay! We leveled up in a couple things. Gameplay we did. All right. I thought we were Nintendote. <laughs> You're right. Piggymon Go. That's great. I love that. All right. Let's release our game. Let's see how it does. And let's see if we can research anything new. Custom game engine. 50 RP. We don't have enough RP. Got it. Uh, we'll, we'll save up our stuff then. The first reviews for the Handbangers has come in. Oh, come on. Falls a bit short. Okay. We'll take a five. We'll take a five. I hate it when I see ones rolling around in there. Five. Okay. I've seen better. Okay. Come on, come on, get up there, get up there. Oh, not bad, not good. Man, it might be time for another Space Pigs. Yikes, superheroes and simulation is a terrible combo. So it's just because we did superhero sim. <laughs> Apparently it's just a bad combo. Uh, okay, so, new game. Pick topic. What do we want to do? And we're doing fine on money. We have been earning money slowly, so we're actually doing okay. Let's do a military 
strategy game, okay? Uh, War Picks. War Picks. Because that's like a song. Uh, pick a platform, PC. Space Pigs, the attack of vampire bats. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. Call of Ham! <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, I love it. It's all pig-based stuff. This is great. This is great. The Warthogs. Oh, right after I do it. That's such a good name. Good, good one, Claw. Next one, we'll do that one. All right. Gameplay and engine makes sense for military strategy, right? Engine. Yeah, something like this. Mostly gameplay. A little bit of engine. Story and quests are less important. We'll, we'll add a little bit in there, but it's less important. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're getting some stuff. Hi there, we just finished hand vendors and I think you have potential. I'm in the contract business and we can use your skills. If you're ever short on cash. All right, cool, so now we can get contracting jobs. Those are ways to earn, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Those are ways to earn like extra, um, Snout and Tail, that's a great name. Keep keep all of these ideas for game names in your heads, y'all. We're gonna be using a lot of these. Um, so those allow you to get some quick cash um, and you can earn research points a little bit faster. You don't, um, make as much money, it doesn't build your brand, but it's sometimes good if you're having trouble building up your um, funds and whatnot. Okay, let's see how we can do here. Okay, next, uh, level design is very important. AI also very important, dialogue's less important, I would say, right? But for a strategy game, I feel like level design is very important, right? Okay, according to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. We are Ninven don't, all right? Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, uh, but we'll see what they deliver. Oh, if only they knew. If only they could predict the future like we can. Okay, um, world design graphics are sound. Oof, all these seem important to a, a strategy game to me, don't, don't they to you? I feel like all of those are important. If you bring them all to the middle, it's kind of the same thing as having them all high, I think. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I think they're all important. We're going to put them all. I'm going to just go even across the board. All right. Uh-oh, our guy's got a little confusion going on. 11 and 11 is not bad, though. I think that's our highest uh, quality scores so far. All right. Bugs are gone. Oh, got a little extra point. Boom. 15 and 15. I think that's a record on both ends. Yeah. Soundless? Oh, I should I, I should have taken sound down. Maybe I should have. Maybe. Oh, we're going to level up a bunch of little stats. Yeah. Oh, so close. Yeah. 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 All right. Not bad. Most of them. We got most of them. Release the game. All right. Let's see what the uh, contracts are that are available. Debug a program. Do a game backup. Play test. Let's, let's really quickly, let's just do this, this uh, program debug. Uh, we have four weeks to accomplish it. I think we can do it. And this way we can, you know, get a little bit of extra money maybe. And we can see how well our next game does. The first reviews for War Pigs have come in. What is Prutzi? I am Prutzi. Prutzi is, is my name. Um, research a new one with history. Should have gone a name about pigs. I know, we should have made our, our thing a name about pigs. I wish we had. Pig Tendo. Come on. All right. Uh, let's see how, how they like it. What do you think? Oh, oh! Nine more, please. Yes. The war pigs. Oh, it's a hit. Oh, it's a hit. Almost perfect. Screw you, all games. Oh, yeah. We don't set the bar. We are the bar. Oh, yes. Pig Pendo. Pig Pendo. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh yeah, war pigs. Ooh, wee. 6.2k in the first week. The hand vendors is now off the market. It only sold 5,000. Yes. War pigs is this universe's cod. Yes, it is. Military strategy is a perfect combo. Nice. All right, y'all. Can we debug this? Oh, we don't have enough time to do this. I don't think. Crap. All right. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console, the TES, early next year. Oh yes. We are the bar. <laughs> Uh, and a uniquely designed controller. Oh, come on, come on. One more, one more. You got it, buddy. Ooh, just in time. Nice job. We'll transfer 14K to your account. Okay, Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Okay, so here's the deal. We just sold a great game, 
which is awesome. Um, hold on. What did someone say? War Pigs 2, The Pork Wars. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do a, a sequel to War Pigs in the future. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. We are, because we're making a lot of money off of War Pigs, we're going to spend this time, instead of developing a new game, we are going to uh, develop, hold on. Hold on. No, oh, where is it? Come on. Uh, research. We're going to develop a new game engine. Okay, so I could maybe get better graphics. I could get um, better sound, things like that. So let's do that. So we're gonna research a custom game engine. I believe that's what I can do. Or, or rather, this will give me the ability to do that in the future. Okay. TES almost spells your name. Oh yeah, they're coming out with the with the tests. All right. You've successfully researched custom game engine. New research available, game tutorials, and mono sound. Okay, so if we go into our research now, we have a uh, access to all these other things. So now we'll start to be able to learn um, new things to add to our games to make them even better, right? Do history and adventure and name it the Boar of Pig Tree <laughs> instead of War of History. <laughs> uh, so we'll maybe do some of this in a bit once we earn some more research points. Let's develop a new game, though. Um, oh, and then create custom game engine. So here's how you can create a custom game engine. So I could add 2D graphics. I could add linear story. I could add save games, all right? I spend money to create an engine that best reflects all the stuff that I would like to be able to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend the next couple sets of research points on learning new things that we could add to our custom engine, and then we will um, create that engine. Now, we don't have enough. Give me a second. We don't have enough to... Um, do a new topic yet? We need more research. So let's do a new uh, game. Have I played Software Inc. yet? No, I have not, but I have seen that game and I want to play it. Um, okay, develop a new game. What's the topic we're going to do now? We've done Werewolf, we've done Military, we've done Space, we've done Superheroes. Let's do Dance. And what kind of a d game is a dance game? Is it a, Would you call it a simulation? Or would you call it an action game? I don't know. I don't know. Sim, sim, sim. A lot of people are saying sim. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Dance moves, robots can dance. Best DDR bootleg. <laughs> uh, pick a platform. All right, PC. So we will call that. What, what should we call this? Um, oh. Oink, oink, revolution. Duh. O O R. The boar of the dance. The lord of the dance. <laughs> no, no. Oink, oink, revolution. Hey, CCR just cheered. 500 bits. Uh, have some bits because I'm just happy to be here. Thank you so much, CCR. Drop them bike shorts, y'all. Dancing with the pigs. Ham dance. I like that, too. Oh, ham dance like slam dance. That's great. Featuring music from Oinko Boinko. Indeed. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, cool. Here we go. Uh, 2D graphics. Yes. It's basically like Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but more pigly. Okay, so uh, gameplay is important. Engine's important. Um, story and quest, not so much. Okay. Here we go. We're getting much better at this. I think. I hope. Oof. Okay. Uh, level design and AI. Sure. Do, 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 do. All right. War Pigs is now off the market. It sold 23,000 units, generating 162,456 in sales. Nice. Okay. We're getting some research. That's good. All right. World design, graphics, sound. I don't think world design is that important. Graphics and sound are super important. I mean, sound is super important in a dance game for sure. So we're like that. 51% sound. Piggly Wiggly. Oh, that's such a good name for it. That's such a good name for it. All right. All right. We got good overall scores at the top. Not the best. Today, the new game platform by TES and Invento has been released. That's fine. We're going to let the bugs all get kinked or ironed out. We're going to iron out the kinks. That's the word. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, oh. We'll take it. Okay. So, how do we do? New record for technology. And it's a sim, so that's good. Next, we need a Space Pigs 2. I think it might be time for a Space Pigs 2. Yeah, it might be time. Here's the deal. I kind of want to wait to make Space Pigs 2 once we've made our first um, custom engine, right? So, like, that's how we launch our new engine is we go, guess what? Space Pigs 2! But maybe we want to save that for Space Pig 3D. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. It's a dance. It's a dance. Kink out the iron. The iron pigs. All right. Release the game. All right. So while we're doing that, let us 
uh, to some research. Let's get a new topic. What's the new topic that we want? So one of you had said history was something uh, that you wanted. Horror, vampire, and rhythm are also options. Let's get history. Let's go ahead and get that. Might as well. All right, let's see what people think about Oink Oink Revolution, y'all. How about a reboot for Why Wolf? We could try um, redoing that, maybe like How Wolf, make it a detective game. All right, how are we doing? Ooh, I'm feeling okay about this. Eight, played it for days, nice. All right, dance and simulation is a great combination, nice. Yeah, more please indeed, game hero. Enjoyable. All games? Why do you hate my games? <sighs> These guys. They just won't be pleased by anything. My goodness. Pigmire's dies. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool. All right. So, oh, we're working on a thing. Okay. Because we're researching. Oink Oink Revolution is going to sell like gangbusters. Almost 10K in the first week. Ooh. You have successfully researched a new topic, history. Okay. We're going to develop a new game. And it is time for Space Pigs number two. Whoa. What was that? My phone should be making noises. Weird. What was that? Why did it... My phone's always turned off. That's so odd. All right. Space Pigs two. Um, the... You're saying versus Y-Wolf? <laughs> The, uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Howling Menace. You didn't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right, pick topic. Space, genre, action, platform. It would cost us 80K to make this on the TES, but the market share is, well, honestly, at this point, I think the PC is still pretty solid. Um, the Pork Wars. Oh, you're right, we should do it with the, instead of two, it should be I I. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. On the PC, space action. Right? Let's do this. 2D graphics, that's fine. We can make this happen, y'all. Now hopefully this is not a flop. Okay, so we said it was all about gameplay, right? A little bit of engine, a little story and quests, but mostly about gameplay. For an action game, right? Do 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 do. Oh, yeah. Look at that design going up. Heck, yeah. Okay. Now, level design, very important. Dialogues, somewhat important. AI, somewhat important. A little bit more important because you got to make sure that like the enemy NPCs and stuff are going all right. When do we get the big crossover of Space Pigs versus Wival versus Capcom? Uh, I, you know, I think that'll be in like the third or fourth generation for sure. All right. Here we go. If we ever see him scratching his head, they think that means I've made some mistakes, but he looks like he's fine so far. Okay. Graphics, boom, sound, boom, world design. It's probably pretty important. Oh, you're right, Fetchy. Maybe I should have before going on to the prequels. <laughs> All right. One Coin Revolution is off the market. It sold 25,000 copies, almost as much as uh, uh, War Pigs. Okay, here we go. Okay, 15. 16, okay. Let's go. All right, 17 on the design. Nice. Record! Nice. Sow Wars. Oh, I like that Sow Wars. That sounds good. All right, later, Ray J. And uh, just so you know, because you're saying you're going to go watch my Stardew series, I will be getting the finale of Stardew out at some point within the next month probably i'm just slowly working through the winter on stream because i like i said in the game or in that series that like we're i didn't want to like put all that on youtube it's just it's, it's a lot of just mindless stuff okay research new topic uh you can make a game dev game that's pretty meta let's get a horror game let's get a horror game all right start that research all right first reviews for space pigs 2 the howling menace came in Ooh, let's hope it's good y'all on seven enjoyable okay it's acceptable beautiful i feel like this is like almost exactly the same as the scores of the last game of the last sow wars seven eight played it for days all games loved it of course they did all right not bad 
not bad, okay? It's a continuation of the same series. It's not as good as War Pigs, though, apparently. Oh, well. Sequels are never as good. Until we come back with, like, the, the better one in the future. Okay. <laughs>